Welcome, Hi. welcome back. We have so much to talk about. Uh, the, how's the family, by the way, first of all? Family, uh, amazing. Uh, my three daughters uh, thriving. Just we came back from a summer in Spain. Uh, yeah, you Zoomed uh, with me from Spain. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Yep. And I just got to see how fun you are with the whole fam. Here they are, actually. I have a picture of you and the family. Oh, this is your daughter is graduating. Yep. Yeah, look at that. Inés, Come on. Carlota, Lucia. I gave the, the speech on her graduation, on my youngest. Oh, really? And, uh, At the school. And I was so super nervous because my daughter kind of introduced me to everybody. And she goes on the speech and he says, well, my dad, you may think it's a good daddy, but he never let us order food from the kids menu in the restaurant. <laughs> I'm like, <"Really>? yeah. <laughs> this, this was the nicest thing you could tell on me? <laughs> I mean, anyway, daughters, I love my daughters. Yeah, of course, yeah. I, I, I want to talk about a World Central Kitchen because we've done, we've, we were together in Puerto Rico uh, and sadly Puerto Rico got hit with another uh, hurricane now, but... Uh, uh, it's, it's rough, but I, I, uh, what you've done for so many people, I mean, uh, I think the first one we made, was that Bahamas or something? Well, Bahamas was a big one. We did over 3 million meals, was 14 islands, but we began really in, in Haiti in 2010 after uh, the earthquake. Uh, and this was very simple. It's not me. It's the people. Uh, yes, I go and I tell everybody, let's cook and let's feed anybody that needs, needs our help. Yeah. And let me tell you what happens. Everybody wants to join this simple idea. Big problems, actually, they have very simple solutions. Cooks, what do we do? We start cooking and we start feeding. You see, we can do it when we all come together. That's what we've been doing since <laughs> we play. Oh, no, it's amazing what you're doing. We were, like, together, we were together in, in Puerto Rico and we were eating uh, pastelitos. That you show up and spend there many days doing a show, showing the beautiful people of Puerto Rico coming back, coming together, that you took the step to leave your studio, show up in Puerto Rico, and give love and hope, and show all America and all the world how amazing those people are. That was amazing. So thank you for doing no, that. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, it was, a, honestly, it's just, you, you feel it. You feel it with the people when you see everyone, and you get there, and Puerto Rico is so beautiful. Go visit. Uh, tourism is such a part of their... Uh, uh, economy, so please go support Puerto Rico. But I remember I, I, I took a bite of the, the and you said, uh, Jimmy, you're eating it wrong. And I go, what do you mean? You go, when you eat food this good, you have to close your eyes. <laughs> I mean, he was not closing his eyes. <laughs> That's so funny. He's just eating it with his open eyes. <laughs> his open he, eyes, he, yeah. He, he looked like a shark. I mean, I like <laughs> sharks. Sharks are good people, believe me, but uh, I mean, but, but he's there, he's eating, uh, and the women are looking like, what's happening, Jose? I don't know. So, yeah. Jimmy, can you show some emotion, man? I mean, <laughs> Come on. Some, um, mm. uh, so, and look you did you, great in the second try. Look at you now. I feel like you're like an actor now, because now look at you, because you're in a cartoon, and now you're a big actor now. So it's gone to your head. Look at your acting. You're, you're so... <laughs> yes, it's your change. It's to my head. You're... They couldn't find anybody else with an accent. And they... <laughs> and they... And they... <laughs> and they beat me. It's called Fire, Fire Buds, and here you are, your Chef Al in Fire Buds, and I thought that was really cool to do, just for all the kids out there. I'm, I'm loving it. it. was great. Nobody could understand my English, so that's fine. That's, right. that's what they got me, but listen, I'll, uh, I hope I'll do more. How, um, how are you doing that? You're giving all of your time. You're flying. You're, you're in Ukraine. You're doing all the stuff, and you're opening restaurants as well. Well, just, I mean, I, open I, one in, uh, here in New York. Uh, at the new Ritz Carlton Hotel in the Nomad, I opened a restaurant called Saitinia, which is Greek. I opened a bar in the rooftop, has one of the best rooftops in the history of New York. You have another one in LA, but how do you manage your time? Do you know where well, you are I mean, right now? Do you know where? <laughs> take a guess, take a guess where you are. Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon show yeah. in New York. Yes, you're right, you nailed but, it, you but, nailed it, New York. But, you know, right now, obviously, you see what ha has happened uh, with Fiona. Uh, huge hurricane has affected multiple islands, multiple countries. Uh, I'm, I'm, I can be here with you now because the team we have at World Central Kitchen is beyond amazing. Right now, we are in Dominican Republic, in Puerto Rico, in Bermudas. Just they landed in Turks and Caicos. They are in Alaska. They just came from Jackson helping with water. We are in Pakistan, in Afghanistan. We reached 160 million meals alone inside Ukraine. I do what I do because the people are amazing. Do you think it's awesome what you do? But, but you know how we do it? 
Are you hungry? You need, you need help? You need food? Yeah. So, okay. This was in your green room. Here. Food. Thank you Carrots. so much. Yes, thank that. you. Did this inspire... <laughs> Did... If yeah, I, I don't mean, do it, he's going to be upset. Uh, they are carrots. You I should know, eat vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> he's learning. Um, did, did all of this inspire your podcast, Longer Tables? Yeah. Well, you didn't do any... Mmm. You... <laughs> the the balance plan. Ah, OK, OK. Yeah. And Longer Tables is this very simple idea that if we build longer tables, no higher walls, and we allow everybody just to join the same table and give the same opportunity to everybody, we can really build a better world. That's the idea of longer tables, where food is at the heart, food is love, food is dignity. People, yeah. you know, don't want our pity, they want our respect. Food is a great way to give respect to people. Yeah, the longer the table, the more people can talk. Chef Jose Andres, for more information on how to get involved with the World Central Kitchen, go to WCK.org. We'll be right back with Anna Fabrega. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.